The Past Within. Ever since I played the innovative two-person co-op adventure game, Tik Tok A Tale for Two, I have been hoping for more like it. Well, who better to answer the call than a Masters of Creepy Room Escapes, Rusty Lake? Best known of their bizarre group escape series that was inspired by Twin Peaks, they now have a dozen games under their belt that mix clever puzzles with weird settings and offer even disgusting imaginary. If anyone could pull off a corporate adventure game, I would expect it would be Temp. And I was right. The Post Within was worse of the bait and every bit as weird and wonderful as I hoped. So what does it mean to be co-op adventure game? In this case, two main players must work together to communicate and solve puzzles. Each person needs a copy of the game on either PC, iOS or Android. It doesn't matter what platform you play on, as long as each person has access to the game on their own screen. When you start playing, one person chooses the past and another chooses the future. This way, you will each see in different scenes and can help each other to make a progress. A simple example would be early on where a letter shows up in the past with a date on it, and the person in the future needs to know that the date that can be entered into their computer. More complex puzzles could involve describing symbols to each other or where to find hidden compartments. Part of the game looks exactly like the Cube Escape games we all come to love. You are inside a room with a two-dimensional crude art style and you can move around to look at the four walls individually. But for the first time ever, we also get the view from the room or cube from the outside, in a 3D environment similar to the, that of the room series. It's still the Rust Lake art style, but now we are working to solve a puzzle box. The 3D sections were a surprise at first but turned out to be a natural fit for the series. I absolutely love them and hope it won't be the last to be see of this type of the game from the team. I also appreciated of the little details in the 3D actions, like the way that items you are done with little table and give proper light in the field. The game consists of two chapters, a total of about two hours to finish, and the first one is very much way too easy into the whole idea of cooperating with a friend. The second chapter is there where the game truly shines and will offer a ton of surprises. Whether you will play in the past or the future, it really is worth going into the chapter blind, so I'm trying not to include photos or even go too into much detail. When I experienced it each of the first time, I was glad that the official marketing has avoided showing it, so I want to give my readers the same courtesy. Another thing I appreciated was there were two separate games to choose from, the bee or the butterfly, where the puzzles are the same but many are solutions from difference. For instance, in B you might need to close examine the painting of the tree, but in butterfly you will be focused on the plating on the cow. The second place row will still go quicker because you know what you are looking for, but the variations make more enjoyable experience than having that exact same answers. Overall, my friend and I had a wonderful experience with the game, but there was one puzzle that we found overly frustrating to work through our voice chat. It involved describing a sequence of abstract symbols to each other on a timer, and we found it very hard to keep seeing in signs. One of us always waiting for other and then having to restart because the timer ran out. The sequence wasn't always the same, so that complicated things ever further. Also, why it can be exciting to discover an achievement, I am not sure there is a place for them in a game like this. If you want to hunt them down, you are going either need to bother other kids to play in, replying in the with you look to up for that you miss it, or you have to sit down with two screens and do it yourself. Neither option is appealing to me, so I am just going live without the achievements I didn't get. The Pass Within was everything I expected and so much more. I played with the same friend that completed Tic Tac with me, so we got the rhythm pretty quickly. I was especially impressed with the second chapter and also glad to see that the pa boss, the past and the present offer compelling environments and interactive elements. It's hard to say now which I prefer and I think too important that both players have satisfying experience, even if they choose not to replay the game. That said, I do recommend replying so you can each see what you missed up on the other side. 
All in all, the post within gets away an easy recommendation from me, especially if you have someone in mind to play with. And if you want to try before buying, there is a free demo with different puzzles, so we don't spoil the full version. If you're ready to explore the past and the future, grab a friend the past within here. Bye bye.